All right, guys, we are going to talk about the Ponage Wireless Gaming Mouse. Now, I did buy this on Black Friday, and yeah, it's sitting right there, as you guys could tell. So, yeah, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to do an unboxing on it. So, let's check it out. All right, guys, we are back with another video. I wanted to try this mouse out just for a couple weeks or maybe a good week just to test it out and stuff. But we do have the Ponage wireless, ultra wireless gaming mouse. I know this mouse has been out for two years, but we're gonna go over it and I'm gonna just do a slight unboxing, slight review on this uh, and tell you what I think about it. So yes, I bought this on Black Friday, $94 total. Now it came with everything now i did get the ergo gen 2 now there's different kinds of mice for different you know for your different hand or d different grips or the way you want to hold it now my friend ricky ra visuals did tell me try the ergo gen 2 so i got it and tried it now don't get me wrong i do like the model o i still use my glorious but i wanted to try something different and i actually got a black mouse uh instead of white since i already have white now in the box it does come with the mouse it does come the dongle and it comes with the wire it's pretty much like the glorious you just plug it in your pc and you put the little um you know the connector on your desk and that's it and if you need to charge it you just unplug it and plug it into the mouse i did get some bottom feeds i got some side grippers and i got a bunch of color changing face plates i guess you want to call it face plates yes you can customize this mouse and that's actually what i liked because i could change it to my different themes and add different colors and stuff so yeah we'll get into that in a minute so you can retail this mouse for like 80 bucks and if you want to add on the other stuff it does cost extra now i got this on black friday it came with the whole bundle like over 200 dollars. it would have cost me but i got it for like 94 dollars. so i think that's a great deal there is software i did download the software and i'm going to tell you straight up i love the software it's so easy to use and it's just basic and simple now there is something on the mouse that i came across and i fixed it well there's an option on the software so when you're gaming the light turns off every time you touch it. And when you don't touch it, the light turns on. It's not really of a big deal because your hand's over the mouse, but some people said it's annoying. Now they did fix this because people were complaining about this and in the software update, I'm assuming, you could turn it on or off or you could leave it on while you're gaming and then after a while it just turns off the RGB. I'm gonna tell you straight up, this mouse is super glides very good. I am very impressed with the feet on this. Now this mouse is all honeycomb. You can change the tops and you could change the uh, the whole top of the mouse. You could change it to solid or honeycomb if you want to. You cannot change the sides. Now you can change the little DPI too. It comes with little DPIs. And this is what I liked and the reason I bought this bundle because it came with all of these colors and all these face plates. I was amazed. So you could swap it out if you want green and yellow or yellow and green or red and green for Christmas. Uh, yeah, and you just take the faceplate off. It was a little tricky at first to do it. I had trouble working it and putting it in, but after a while, you kind of get used to it and you know. So don't feel like you're going to break it. It's all, no tools necessary. You just take the top off, pull it back on, and you're ready to game. It took me a while to get used to. It took me a little while. I'm still not used to it as my Model O, and I'm going to say this. The back buttons or the side buttons, you know, the two buttons on the left on the side, I like them how they're big and they're fat and I could just hit them. But the issue I had with this mouse is my hand keeps sliding down and I have to keep sliding my hand back to hit the back button. So when I kept gaming, now on the Model O, it's up a little forward so I don't have to move my hand so much and I really like that. Now. I was very uncomfortable using this mouse at first, but I'm getting better at it and I'm starting to adjust to it. So just remember if you buy a certain mouse on their website, make sure you look at that before you purchase it because there's different style position where you have your hand for different people who use it. So I recommend just, 
yeah just just be careful when you when you purchase it like i said it's like pretty much with anything a keyboard or a mouse it takes a while to adjust to something i know when i went from gaming from xbox controllers to pc it was very difficult it took me a long time to get the fps and the you know the keys and stuff so now i can't now i can i don't know if i could go back i do use controllers on xbox once in a while but first person shooters i use pc if you want to get the wireless it's 80 dollars, and the wired one is 40 bucks so yeah we're going to talk about the lightweight this is actually 68 grams to 84 it depends you can take the battery out or leave the battery in you can do that but i just leave the battery in uh, so it's about 64, 80 grams. It just depends on what the shell's on. I'd say about 64 grams, uh, the wireless one. So lag-free, there's no lag-free. and No, there's no. I know people are going to ask me, does it lag a lot? No, I haven't had any issues on that. So it's got fast charging. Um, the battery does last pretty long. Um, I do have the RGB on, and after a while it turns off. So it's lasted me for over a uh, probably like less than a week but it takes about two hours to get a full charge so if you want office battery life and that's pretty much just have the light off you're looking at 180 hours and then 80 hours of gaming life and then 80 hours of gaming battery life with the light on and depends on how the brightness is and if you have the brightness low or high and also fully charged in about two hours this is a usb type c cable and it's paracord the paracord's great i love it i tried it with gaming with the paracord i didn't have any issues but like i said i just charge it when i go to bed and i'm good the next day now like i said this mouse glides it it just glides so good dude it's it's great it's i love it at first i thought the feet on the back were a little small but it's not so on the back of the mouse you just turn it on and you can turn it office mode or gaming mode or anyone you want or just turn the rgb off and game all night and have fun with it but other than that i don't think there's a lot to go over this mouse i pretty much gave you just the basic specs i have i am adjusting to the mouse a little bit um it's taking some more time and i think it's super great um at first, like I said, I didn't like it. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just I wasn't adjusting. I was so used to my Model O. And then when you go to something different, yeah. But super lightweight. It's great. Um, I'm going to try it. I've been wanting to go to my back to my Model O, but I can't. Because if I keep doing that, I'm not going to get any good on this mouse. I won a few games of Fortnite. So, yeah. But other than that, guys, that's about it. I just wanted to do a little short unboxing and a slight review. Dude, this is so light. This has got to be at least 64 grams. So, like I said, you could change out the shells and everything, and I think that's really cool. Uh, I don't know any other companies that do that. I wish the sides didn't have honeycombs. I guess because I'm used to not the honeycombs, but it's just something you got to get used to. So, yeah. All right, guys, but that's about it. Thanks for watching, Josh Tech Gamer. And I will check you guys later.